Hi, it's Marcus from Dan Lads Gaming. I'm on my own, so that means it's a boring video. It's a collection video with a difference. It is a CRT collection video. Now, I love watching collection videos, but I don't think we've ever got anything really worth uh, doing a video on, to be honest. Now, I've never been compelled to do one, but now, who doesn't love cathode ray tube TVs? <laughs> we got 17 in total, would you believe? So now, if you watch this video, go into detail what we've got, and you might be as engorged as what I am about CRTs. Right, starting off, I know this is a bit of a cheat, but I'm claiming it anyway. It's obviously the mighty Vectrex. It does have a monochrome vector display, but it is a CRT and this was released in 1982 and every retro gamer should have one of these. This is a 29 inch Sony Trinitron model number KV29FX11U. It has two SCART connections on the back, one accepts RGB and the other S video. It also has a composite and S video connection on the front. Now I got this from a house in Durham which smelt of rancid smoke. It took absolutely months to get rid of this smoke smell, but boy was it worth it when we got rid of it. We mainly use it for light gun games, predominantly PS2, but it also accommodates the PS1 light gun games, and also Atari 2600 in RF. This is the first of my 14 inch PVMs, it's a Sony 1453MD. It's set up on its side to cater for all the Atari games, mainly shmups and mainly on the Saturn and PS2. It has 600 TV lines, which on this 14 inch screen is absolutely tremendous. It will accept RGB, component, S video, and composite, but I've got it mainly set up just for RGB and component settings. This is a Toshiba 36 inch TV, model number 36ZP18P. Now, this thing is crazy heavy, and it wasn't fun carrying this up two flights of stairs, and I've done it twice because there's actually two of these in this setup. It weighs 75 kilograms. Unusual for TVs in the UK, it has a component input. Shame though, it only accepts 480i. Also as expected, RGB, S-Video and Composite. It isn't great for gaming actually, with it being a 100Hz set, but it fits perfectly in the alcove, if you can see. It's almost it was made for it. Onto my only BVM, it's the Sony 2011P and it's absolutely awesome. It's 20 inch and there's 900 TV lines. It'll accept a 4.3 and a 16 by 9 signal. It's using RGB and component. And I can send both signals down one cable which I then use the settings on the pullout tray to change between internal and external sync as required. This is by far my best screen. It's amazing. The second of my 36 inch Toshibas, same model as the one in room one. This one is a better use case because it's mainly used for watching retro movies on VHS, Laserdisc and DVD. I can also watch Netflix and YouTube via the Connected 360. As mentioned in the other room it's a 100Hz set so it's better accommodated for just watching TV shows and movies. The second of my two Sony 14 inch PVMs, this is the M2 MDE. The picture quality on these 14 inch PVMs are absolutely unreal to be honest. This one's set up with a 360 by component but the 360 is in standard definition mode and also a ZX Spectrum Plus by composite. 600 TV lines for anyone interested. A 32 inch Sony Trinitron. The model number for this one is KD32DX100U. Bit of a mouthful. It's obviously set up in Tarte mode, which loves staff, but when you're playing on it, it's absolutely class. It's a great picture and a really good sound. I have an RGB Pi with a Tarte build on it and a Dreamcast in S-Video. This is the first of my two 20 inch Sony PVMs that I've got in the setup. Model number is 2053MD. It's a 600 TV line model. All used for RGB consoles. I actually prefer the picture on this one compared to the other one which is just a couple of foot away. The only VGA monitor I've got in my setup 
It's a, the e armor I think it's pronounced like that, Vision Master Pro 454, and this thing is absolutely awesome. I got it for about 10 to 20 pounds, and it was barely used. I used it with a 360, a Wii, a Dreamcast, and an old PC, and the picture on this thing is absolutely stunning. Any gameplay I show you just will not do its justice. I mean, in particular, 480p stuff on the Dreamcast is incredible. And interesting to some of you PC guys, it also does up to 1920 by 1440 The second of the two 20 inch Sony PVMs in this room, this is the 20M2 MG model, and again it has 600 TV lines. This one is only used for RGB consoles and also the 3DO, which is in S video output. This is the first of my two spare 14 inch PVMs. This is the Olympus, and that is basically just a rebranded Sony PVM. It's the OEV142 model. Again, 600 TV lines, and it'll accept RGB, component, S video, and composite. The second of the two spare 14 inch PVMs, this is a Sony, and the model number is 14N5MDE. Now, it's not as good as the other PVMs, but it's still pretty good. It'll accept S-Video and Composite. In my opinion, it would make an ideal monitor for the 8 and 16-bit microcomputers. I have now ventured a lot for the next three TVs. This is a 20-inch standard TV made by Thorn. Who can remember them? Its model number is CT202T. And now it's got a couple of SCART sockets on the back, one of which will accept RGB. This is the 18-inch Bush, model number BTV. 18SIL. Now I got this not too long ago from my parents. It was hardly used, it was in their loft. It's a CRT and VCR combo which works great. And actually it'll accept RGB2 which is class. My brother and I got this 20 inch Sony Trinitron brand new in about 1991 we think. It really has served as well and it's been the mainstay in multiple setups across where well, I'm guessing it's about four houses. But now unfortunately it's to back up in the loft. Does RGB, S video and composite. It is the KV X2172U model. Finally, this is a 14 inch black diamond that I've got set up in the garage. It'll eventually be used for testing consoles that I've repaired if I eventually stop procrastinating and just start teaching myself how to do it. It's a BDS1451 UK model and picture quality on this by RGB is lovely actually. Now the boring techie bits are out of the way, I'm going to astound you with some game footage on these monitors. Stand by.
For 99% of you, that would have been absolutely as boring as shit. But for the 1% who like the CRTs, like me, I hope you had your Kleenex ready. See you later.